to start section 1.4, let's look at this statement and uh, and just talk about it. So, in section 1.3, the previous section where we wrote expressions, um, we might be asked to do something like this: to write an expression that uh, would give the score of of a, of a given quiz. Um, so we talked about that in the previous uh, section. Uh, we would take 32 and we would subtract the number wrong, that would be x. Right, then we would take that, 32 minus x, 32 minus the number wrong would be the number correct. If you take the number correct and divide that by the total possible, 32, and then multiply that by 100, that gives us the percentage. Okay, so that's an expression that represents the score of a given quiz. Let's look at uh, another example. So uh, if you buy tickets for a baseball game online, uh, and it costs $20 a ticket, and then there's a $5 convenience fee, which they uh, will charge oftentimes when you want to buy seats next to each other. Uh, so again, we might be asked to write uh, an expression that represents how much we would be spending on tickets. Uh, so we'll pay $20 per ticket. So we have to multiply by the number of tickets. So 20x would represent that. If we plugged in the number of tickets, 20 times that number would be how much we spent on tickets. Plus that $5 convenience fee. Okay. Uh, well, that would be an expression. It just, the value of this expression just depends on how much x is worth. Uh, down here as well, this is an expression. Okay, and that's just a vocab word. It's a word we use in algebra to say there's just this collection of numbers and operations uh, that represents uh, some real life situation, or maybe not a real life situation, just. Uh, a collection of numbers and operations for no particular reason. Um, but in this case, it, it represents two real-life situations. Now, this distinction that we're about to make is a very important one, uh, one that I will continue to make throughout the year, throughout several years of math, um, particularly <clears throat> when you uh, mistakenly uh, say, write an expression and think it's an equation, or write an equation and think it's an expression. Um, so I'm going to make that distinction time and time again. Expression and then equation is what we're talking about in this section. And it's not a difficult distinction. An expression is a collection of numbers and letters and operations. And then an equation is something like that, and it's set equal to something else. Okay, so an example of an equation, now keep in mind, before I make this an equation, this x could be just anything. It could be uh, anything we want it to be. Let me just plug in a number and find out what the score would be. But if I say that this is equal to uh, 83%, okay, well, that means clearly that this x is a value. It's a it's a a necessary value. It's not a variable anymore. It's just an unknown quantity. You have to have missed a certain number of points in order to get the exact score, 83. Um, and in reality, uh, since I round percentages uh, to the nearest whole number, this this x could be maybe a few different scores, but um, to get exactly 83, you would have to miss a precise number of, uh, of points. Okay, so this thing right here, not surprisingly, this equals sign makes this an equation. This is not an equation. This is just an expression. So if you were to say, you know, if we were talking and you said, and I have this equation, this isn't an equation, and I'll correct you every time just so that you don't get confused, um, and that you can always make that distinction. So expression and equation. Let's just do that again for this problem down here. The equation, and this equation, it, it could be any number 
of um, of, of different equations. You could choose this to be equal to a lot of different things. Um, but just for an example, we could set this equal to 45. Right? And what, what are we saying here? We're, with this equation, we're saying what's happened, at least in this context, is that we uh, spent uh, $20 per ticket on a certain number of tickets, plus that $5 convenience fee, and in the end, we spent $245. Uh, so that number of tickets is locked in. It has to be a certain number of tickets in order to have spent exactly $245. All right. Um, so that's the difference between an expression and an equation. Also in this section, we're going to talk about an inequality. So if I write the word inequality, show you what that looks like and what it means in a real life context. So we have an equation that means that some one thing is equal to another thing. Uh, in an inequality, there's that equal root word in there, but this in prefix negates the equality, so it's just not equal. Um, and if two things are not equal, that means that one is bigger than the other, uh, one is smaller than the other, uh, and so on. So how could what, what could an inequality be representing in this situation? Um, well, this is 32 minus x divided by 32 times 100. Uh, if I said that this was greater than um, 72, right? greater than 72 percent, what might that represent in a real life situation? If we're talking about a quiz and we're saying uh, that this represents your score given the number that you missed, uh, and that score, your score, is greater than 72%, uh, that would represent maybe in order to pass the class or get a B in the class or get an A in the class, you have to, on this next quiz, get at least a 72%, get more than uh, 72%. We might even say greater than or equal to. Right? That's what that little mark there means. Uh, your score, that would be this expression represents your score, uh, is greater than or equal to 72%, right? To, in order to be safe and to uh, get the, the score in the class that you want, you would need to get a greater than or equal to 72% uh, on the upcoming quiz. That's what that could represent, right? All right, so let's go down here and talk about this guy. So if we were to write an inequality in this situation, uh, we could write 20x plus 5, equal, well, sorry, not equals. Uh, in this situation, we would probably see something like less than uh, or equal to mm, 300, all right? Uh, in this context, up here, 72 represented a percent. 300 here represents uh, a dollar amount because uh, when you know the number of tickets that you bought, this expression will tell you how much money you spent. Um, so what could this represent? This expression, the, the amount that you spent on tickets, is going to be less than or equal to $300. This would be dollars. Um, well, that might mean that you have $300 to spend, and clearly you don't want to spend more than that. Um, so you can spend up to 300%. You could spend exactly $300, or not 300%, $300. You could spend as much as $300 or less. You can't spend more. You can't spend more money than you have or you shouldn't. If you don't have it, you shouldn't buy it. Uh, if you don't have the money, you shouldn't buy the thing that you don't have the money to spend it on. Uh, so that's what this inequality could represent. It, it might actually be representing something else, but uh, certainly works. Uh, so the amount of money that you will spend uh, is it's got to be less than or equal to the amount of money you can spend. Okay, So just putting right next to each other and distinguishing between the expression not equal to anything. This nothing is decided here. This, uh, given uh, the number wrong on the quiz, will give you your score on the quiz. This, given the number of tickets that you purchased, will tell you overall how much money you spent on tickets. Uh, this equation is saying this happened. You got an 83%. Uh, so that locks in the number that you got wrong. Um, 
This 245 locks in the number of tickets that were purchased. Uh, so you have to have bought it, an exact uh, amount of tickets in order to spend exactly $245. In this inequality, we're saying that x, you know, x could be uh, lots of different numbers as long as any of the numbers that you plug in here causes your score to be more than, greater than, or equal to 72%. Uh, and in this situation, this x could take on lots of different values as long as that uh, number of tickets causes you to spend at most $300, so less than or equal to $300. All right, so again, I'm going to make that distinction over and over, especially the difference between an expression and an equation. Those get mixed up a lot. And even if you just say, because you're used to saying the word equation, if you call this an equation, I'll just correct you and say, no, remember, that's not an equation, there's no equal sign. Uh, and a lot of times people will want to take an expression and turn it into an equation when it's not. When you're given just an expression uh, to work with and it's not set equal to anything, it's not an equation. Uh, I wouldn't solve this. People say solve a lot. You know, how do I solve this? There's nothing to solve here. Uh, we only solve equations and inequalities because some kind of a statement is being made. All right. So we'll do some uh, practice problems in the next video. Thanks for watching.